As you know, safety Trevon Morgan is my guy for the Las Vegas Raiders pick at number 17 overall. For the first time, I agree with Mel Kuyper and other draft experts. But linebacker Michael Parsons has fallen to the Raiders at number 17 overall on mock drafts lately. His fall is a result of character concerns stemming from an alleged hazing incident three years ago. Parsons is the best at his position in this draft and generational type talent. Today's NFL linebackers are undersized at 220, 230 pounds and faster for pass coverage. But Parsons, a thumper and full-grown grizzly, 246 pounds, is more than fast enough running a 4-3-9-40 at his pro day. He first showed up at Penn State as a defensive end so he could rush the passer off the edge and inside on blitzes. Again, talents like Parsons don't come along very often, and when they do, they're picked in the first five or first ten picks of the draft. So if the Raiders seem available at number 17 overall, they need to sprint to the podium and make the pick. As athletic as Parsons is, his coverage needs a little work. It's nothing physical, his coverage is just too lax at times. Like here, he can close in front of the receiver and knock the pass down, but he lays back. Here, when a man comes into his area, he's a little too concerned about the quarterback running. He needs to be covered first, worry about the quarterback run later. Here he is again. He has the tight end. Has him, but he lost him because he was too concerned with the quarterback. He can't depend on throws like that in the NFL. And here he comes from the left of the screen. He just has to play the ball better. And here, he can close more urgently and get there. Now here he is against the run in the middle. He can diagnose the play and attack downhill right away. can hit a hole faster than a running back and tackle him on his side of the line. When he gets to where he needs to be quick enough, offensive linemen can't even touch him. How about the patience on this one? Then he meets the running back in the hole. The running back's gonna think he has something here, then all of a sudden Parsons is gonna show up in the hole out of nowhere. He does his film study, so if you have a trick play up your sleeve, he's going to sniff it out. He can also shed blocks. Watch him bench press the center here. He's not going to just let you cut block him either. Here's a quick little hand swipe he learned playing defensive end and then the tackle. And you already know he's not going to let a tight end come between him and the ball carrier. Here he's going to shed the center and get that ball out. Here he sheds the center and shows the speed to get that running back outside. Speaking of speed, here's 4440 running Justin Fields and watch him get closed on. Here he combines his speed with textbook technique. Watch him take on the tight end with his inside shoulder and keep his outside shoulder free. It's one thing to not be able to turn the corner, but it's scary getting closed on by a linebacker like that. Here he's going to show his speed again, then he's going to break down when the running back turns the ball upfield. And here he's just going to run the receiver down. That's crazy. And this running back has no shot of getting the ball outside. And here he shows the speed where it's important by the goal line. He doesn't let him hit the pylon. 
All that was from inside. Here he is from the outside. The tight end has no shot here. Neither does this one. Then there's the speed to close from the backside. He's gonna read the blocking scheme and go out front instead of around the back. And here he attacks downhill from the outside. Here he comes again, filling a gap. And here he's gonna come downhill and get the ball out. The Raiders can definitely use some turnovers. With that speed, Parsons is a really good blitzer inside. He gets grabbed and pulled down here, but he gets up and catches the quarterback before too long. And here he's going to time it well and flush the quarterback from the pocket and force the throw away. Here he is well timed again, right up the middle. Here he puts a quick swim move on center. When a guy's that athletic, it's hard to cut block him. And watch the speed here. And you gotta love when they get the ball out. gotta love it even more when it's a sack fumble touchdown he has good timing with his lineman here and my goodness the speed around the corner Here he is bringing that blitz off the edge. And just watch how quickly he closes here. Also in the passing game, he can sniff out those screens. Ball is caught in his area, it isn't going any further. Watch him pick up this big 260 pound tight end here. Alright, journey's over. When Parsons is on his game in coverage, he can make that ball come out. Here he takes his man away and the quarterback has a run. Here in the zone, he gets a nice deep drop and gets his hand on one. Here he makes a good play, but all you can say about this one is if he had hands, he'd play offense. On this one, he's going to stay close to the receiver and get the deflection. Here he takes the tight end away and forces the quarterback to run again. And here he's going to get the ball out again. Now watch this route recognition here. Not bad for a high school defensive end. Now he's in zone, he's gonna read the quarterback size.
The Raiders are pretty good at linebacker right now with Nick Gwikowski stuffing the run and getting the job done in coverage. And while Nicholas Murrow was much improved against the run last year, he stood out mostly in coverage. I haven't lost faith in Corey Littleton to complete the linebacker core, but this guy can be a star playing the run off the edge. He can be a star playing the run from inside. And he can be a star getting after the quarterback if you don't want him in coverage. The Raiders have to pick him if he's available. Thank you for watching. See you next time.